LAPD beefed up security ahead of the Oscars, but protesters still managed to disrupt traffic. Yeah, KCAL News reporter Lori Perez live in Hollywood with the very latest, Lori. Yeah, we're here at the corner of Hollywood and Highland, pressed up against the fence here, as you can see, as uh, LAPD and a smaller group of protesters are face to face. You can see the police lined up behind us, uh, behind us, behind them, rather. The red carpet is right next to them, maybe about 150 feet from where we are. Now, about 30 minutes ago, as you mentioned, the crowd calling for a ceasefire in Gaza did open the fence and try to get in, only to be immediately taken down by LAPD. I know we have video of this, but as they got close, they publicized uh, this protest as an attempt to shut down the Oscars. They did not do that, but they have certainly disrupted things, causing a massive traffic headache as they marched around Hollywood for hours today. LAPD says the city remains on a tactical alert because of the continuing protest. That basically means that they call in additional resources. You can see uh, so many LAPD officers here on the streets. They also issued a dispersal order for unlawful assembly as LAPD seem to be expanding the perimeter around the Oscars to try and control the protest. And really, the protest was several blocks from here for most of the day. Only in the last hour did they get this close, um, and they remain about 150 feet. Uh, again, we remain about, about 150 feet from the red carpet. The protesters, though, are pretty close, and I believe it is their intention to stay there until the end of the show, um, again, trying to call as much attention um, to their cause. They keep uh, continually... Uh, uh, chanting, cease fire now, let Gaza live. Uh, and it does not seem, though, uh, the crowd has gotten considerably smaller. It does not seem like this poor group here has any intention of leaving. We are live in Hollywood. I'm Lori Perez. Back to you.